Whispers. This is Cindy Oaks here. Uh, this is a little demo um, instruction video for my new tree list that I'm giving to anyone and everyone that wants to use. It's going to be on SourceForge. Well, I've already got the project, so I will um, give you the link in the description. Here is the page. After I get the movie, we'll have a movie to put in there too, but right now it doesn't have it in there. And um, Anyway, I wrote it in, let's get this down, I wrote it in Android Studio, and what I'm writing is a Bible study app, I wrote one, and it's out on iOS if you have an iPad or something, um, or an iPhone, I, uh, Monday or Tuesday, I guess I submitted it Monday, and it went live Tuesday, and so now I'm working on the Android version, and so I was needing a tree list, and it didn't have one, so let's look at the parts of this tree list. So that you guys don't just have to try to dig through my code and figure out what I did. Okay. Um, you know, you create your project. I call this Tree View A because about iOS one, I think I called it Tree View 1. And I didn't want a three, Tree View 2. And so A is a good one. Anyway, um, so um, I have some global variables. Just two things in there. I have a few classes. This is my Tree View data. This gets the initial data. I have, uh, let's go to this one first. I have a tree view nodes. This is the nodes, what uh, the class that I use to get my nodes. Uh, we create our lists here. Uh, and whenever you create your data, I mean, like whenever you do yours, you're going to have a lot more complex routine. Because I use the same tree for my Bible study on the iOS, except it was for iOS. And you can look, check my previous videos. And it's the same tree, but your data gathering and your data is what's going to be different. That's what's going to be complicated for you. If you load your tree, I mean, it's the same. And if I'm missing something, you can check my iOS uh, video. And because except for a different language, this is pretty much the same. You just uh, load your data. You got your level and then you got the name you want on the tree. And what else is that? Uh, tree view data. Let's see what that is. I can't remember. Uh, your ID, that's the ID, and then the parent ID. Okay, it's coming back to me now. The ID, like for this, is one, it's all the way down, and then it's the parent ID. And so you just uh, load that. And if you would like to see something that works like really a lot of data, um, you can check my um, iOS uh, Sacred Scriptures app. And because it's the same tree except for iOS, which is different. Okay, what else we got? Uh, in the resources, uh, I got an open and close buttons uh, for every size. Hopefully, I didn't miss any sizes. We got our manifest. When you create your project, um, make sure, well, you're going to, whatever name you're going to put in there. I think mine started at main activity, so I did have to go change the manifest. Um, so, what else? We got layout. For layout, this is the layout. Um, and I think, you know, if you copy all these dudes in, I think they will run for it, yeah, without um, a lot of effort. But let's uh, let's click go, put it in the emulator. Okay, and this is the same data I used for the iOS, or at least the same format. And so, anyway, uh, I've got my tree, multi-level, I only did three levels, like um, Catherine and Haley, they've got a dog, you know, like, I did see some really kind of things with check boxes, tree lists, and I did not like those at all, so I dusted off my Android hat and got to work, and uh, surprisingly, I was able to do it today, I was kind of sweating it a little bit, because it's been about three years since I've done Android, and I didn't do anything this complicated. Um, but it all came together. And so you guys have fun and make a lot of tree lists and it's free to use. Um, just, hey, you got it from Cindy Oaks. And y'all have a great day. Bye.